Okay, so question one looks at something has a number line that looks a bit like this. So we need to work out where the missing numbers are, and then we'll go ahead and we'll have a look at the actual question which you had on your test and work out where they go. So on here we've got hole number three, and then we've got some divisions, and then we've got four. And we've got to work out the gap between each one. If we work out each gap is 0 0.1, that would be 3.1, 3.2, 3.3, 3.4, 3.5. So it can't be 0 0.1 each gap. So let's try 0 0.2. And it goes 3.2, 3.4, 3.6. 3.84. Okay, so we now worked out each gap is at 0 0.2. We just got to count on and work out where these missing things are. So for the 3.2, 3.4, 3.6, that one's got to be 3.8. That means this one is going to be 0 0.2, 0 0.4 more. So it's bouncing up. 0.2 each time. So that makes it 4.4. And on this one, we're going to have to go backwards, 0.2. Going backwards one space, so this one must be 2.8. Okay, so quite straightforward. Let's have a look at this one. This one's slightly different because this time we've got 60, and then 70, and then 80. And it's obviously not going to be 0 0.2 each time, and it's obviously not going to be 1 either. So it's going to be, that would be 61, 62, 63, 64. It's not even 2, so 1 doesn't work. 2, it's 62, 64, 66, 68. That doesn't work, does it? Because it doesn't fit. So a good way to do it, there's 1, 2, 3, 4. And there's a gap of 10 from here to here. It adds on 10. So if I do 10 divided by 4, or if I halve it, halve it again, I get 2.5. So have a look. See if each gap is 2.5. Oh, I just got an email. So 62.5, 65, 67.5, 70. So that works. So each gap must be 2.5 going up. So that's easy because the one in the middle is obviously 65. This one must be 72.5. And then this one must be 2.5 back, so that must be 57.5. Okay, so now we've got the idea of scales, it's quite straightforward. Let's have a look. Let's work out where these ones So This is question one. In this case, let's look. We've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 divisions. So we've got 10 gaps, and we need to go on a space of 1. So really, we've got to go on 1. And we've got to divide it by 10 because there's 10 spaces. That tells us each space must be 0 0.1. And that works, doesn't it? 7.1, 7.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.4, 0 0.5. In the middle, then 0 0.6, 0 0.7, 0 0.8, 0 0.9, 8. Okay, so that makes our life a lot easier. So let's have a look. So that must be 7.5, 7.6, 7.7. That one must be 7.8. And this one must be 8.1, 8.2, 8.3. Must be 8.4, and then in here, well, that's halfway between. That was an easy one. We should have done this one first, really. 6.5, and that's it now. So let's um. Now you need to choose one of those practice questions or extension questions to have a go at.